This channel is produced by Japanese chef Takasan using a different approach compared to other culinary videos. It is to create a Japanese cuisine community for the viewers to participate in. The contents and the dishes are based on requests received from viewers and friends, a program created by the viewers for the viewers. It is a desire to solve questions and problems regarding Japanese cuisine through this Japanese cuisine community. Hello everyone! Today I will be making sashimi out of kinmeda, or golden eye sea bream. Let's get started. First, let's prepare the vegetables for plating. Soak the perilla leaves in water. Now for the other vegetables. Cut the daikon radish into a cylinder. We will carefully cut the radish into a long strip. This style of slicing is one way to prepare circular ingredients in Japanese cuisine. After slicing, roll the daikon radish strip. Cut thin slices from the stacked layers. Rinse the slices well in running water. Now we'll prepare the carrot in the same way. Time to prepare the fish. First, we'll start by removing the guts. Clean the fish under running water to prevent unwanted splattering. After rinsing, we'll use a knife to remove the scales. We'll also use it to remove the gills and any remaining organs.
Make sure to rinse the areas around the stomach and anywhere else blood tends to pool. Divide the fish into three large pieces. These shapes will help us plate the sashimi later. After making the initial cuts, remove the cavity bones. Now we'll remove the pin bones. Use your middle finger to feel for bones and pull them out. Clean the skin by scalding with boiling water. This technique is called unique. After pouring boiling water over the skin, cool the fish in an ice bath immediately. Once the fish is cooled, remove any excess water with paper towels. Time to cut the sashimi slices.
We'll use these pieces of daikon radish and bamboo skewers to form the fish shape for plating. Once the fish shape is set, we can plate the fins. Now we can plate the rest of the pieces. done. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel.